Hello, my name is Gavi and this is a video for the Streets of Rage 4 Signature Edition, which arrived today from Merge Games. Um, <laughs> not that you'd know this, I like telling people when I've made mistakes. This is the second time I've uh, recorded this video because the first time I accidentally pressed a power button and I stopped the video after seven and a half minutes. However, I have learnt from my mistakes from the first time around, so that's good. Hi, I'm in the, uh, I'm reflection on the, on the PC. Can you see me? Right, let's blitz through what I did the first time around really quickly. So, as I said, this is the Streets of Rage 4 Signature Edition. You could get it from Merge Games in the UK. I am aware that Limited Run Games did their own Limited Edition um, in America, which also shipped worldwide. I do not have one of those because I am not made of money, <laughs> unfortunately. So, we're going to have a look through this instead. Now, this is the O card because I, uh, first time around, had an absolute bugger of a time trying to uh, open the box. So you'll see here, it's already open. Um, but I wanted to show you this first, because the artwork's really nice. Oh, isn't that lovely? So, inside the Signature Edition, attached to the inside of the box, so the actual box that the parcel came in, not uh, that the game came in, not the actual box, the, the game box itself, was this, oh, I've dropped it, Signature Edition coin. It's really nice, I like it. It's It's heavy. Got nice heft to it, and it says Signature Edition on one side and Streets of Rage 4 on the other. And the camera is not wanting to focus very well. Its focus is not good. So, if you can't read that, around the sides it says .emu, Signature Edition, and Streets of Rage 4. It's really nice. I like that. Nice little coin. Collectible thing. Um, and then it also came with an art card of the actual Streets of Rage 4 box art, which you'll see again in a moment. Um, with all your favourite characters on, including Lloyd. No one likes Lloyd. Um... And it says Signature Edition on the back. Lovely. So inside the O card was this. That's the, it's like a big sort of PC, you know, if you remember the old PC big boxes from the 90s. Um, it says Signature Edition on and literally nothing else. There is nothing else on the box to say that that is Streets of Rage 4. So these are clearly reusable boxes. I'm going to put that there to put my other gobbins in. Now this is what was the bane of my existence. Um, on the first video, so we're going to try and see if we can do it really nicely this time around. Streets of Rage 4, it's a bandana. I was going to try and wear it, and then it all kind of went wrong. So what I'm going to do instead is see if I can... Ooh, it's not going to work. I was going to see if I could prop the phone up against something, so that then I could put it on and wear it for the rest of the video. Um, but alas... I don't think that's going to happen because I don't really want to record this again. So that's the Streets of Rage 4 bandana. It's rather long, as you'd want it to be, because it is a bandana and you want to wear it on your head. In fact, I'm going to try... I'm going to try and do it one-handed. There. Fantastic. That is the best job I've ever done in my life. Look, let me see if I can spin it around. Mm, can you see me? I'll wear it properly later, no doubt, or maybe not at all. So, yeah, Streets of Rage 4 bandana. The, the fabric, really nice, like that. Very, very lovely. And it came in a bag, too, which, you know, if you want to reuse it to hold your face masks in as part of the great uh, pandemic year of 2020, you could do that. But then if you did do that, you've got nowhere to put the bandana. Um, also, art card. Um, it's a numbered, it's signed and numbered. This one's numbered 5,932. Um, I do, uh, yeah, and if I sort of show you against the window, it's a lovely sunny day. Look at all the clouds. If you sort of hold the card up, you can see there is a little bit of, um, you can actually see the reflection, you know, through the card. But if you actually put it here, there's no bleed through of the ink. So I don't think that's actually signed onto the card itself. I think it was signed onto the print and then it was printed, which means that the print will never rub off, which is nice. That means if you wanted to display it somewhere, it won't fade away like most things do. Right then, box. We're going to open these first, if I can get to them. I can get to them. Signature edition enamel pins of all the characters. How does this open? With great difficulty. You will notice, if I just show you my reflection again, I'm doing this on a phone. And the problem with that is, I'm going to show you. 
that uh, I only have one hand in which to open things. That is not opening. Right, okay. So we're going to have to deal with the fact that you're going to get some reflections from the plastic. But we've got enamel pins. Really nicely sculpted, actually. Looks of uh, the actual character artwork that you would get when um, selecting your character in the game. So you've got Cherry here. Then uh, good old Daddy Adam. He's not looking very, very clever. Uh, yeah, as I say, this is... Not going to work with the paper, I don't think. Um, Axel, Blaze, and Lloyd. Lloyd. Mina likes playing as Lloyd in... Uh, in Well, she likes playing as Lloyd in Streets of Rage 4 until she realised um, that uh, Cherry was much better. Right then, booklet. Uh, the game here, I've not actually opened. I've taken the plastic off, but I've not opened this. Um, it says it includes an art booklet and a key ring. Now, I don't know whether that's in here. It is in there, because look can hear it rattling um yeah streets of rage 4 box art as we said look it looks the same um and then here we go 26 years later the legendary series streets of rage is finally back with a brand new episode with lush hand-drawn animations indeed it is it is gorgeous new combat abilities and fresh tracks from an amazing team of composers fresh so 90s streets of rage 4 is a masterful return of the classic action series fans adore um, oh, I've just noticed this has got a spelling mistake on it. Does that make it rarer? Sorry, I have a thing. It's completely my fault that whenever I'm reading something, my eyes are instantly drawn to something that shouldn't be there. So let's read it out as it's written. The comeback of the legendary Streets of Rage series. Two online players, up to four locally. Oh, there's more than one. More than one error. 17 playables characters, including 12 in pixel art. Mm-hmm. Um, beautiful, fully hand-drawn animated graphics, classic gameplay enhanced with brand new mechanics, I'm not entirely sure what they are, a combo system, possibly, and 12 unique stages with new game modes. Yes, so you can have 17 playables characters and 12 unique stages. Like I said, my phone does not want to focus on those if you bring it up close, but I hold it further away, you can see them clear as day. There are S's there that should not be there. Right then, in this... Ah! Wow, that's like the world's smallest art book. <laughs> look at that. Oh, look, the the the, um, the case is reversible. <gasps> that's really cool. Right, let's let's and let's take that out. We'll get Alexis to swallow that later. I'm sure she'll love it. Look, it's the same print as that one. They're reusing artwork, and that actually looks better than that. I like that. I might switch that around. Might might have it that way around. That looks really, really nice. Um, also, it has more of the developers on it as to who developed it. That's really nice. Um, no Sega logo, though. Hmm. Hmm. Sega logo on back of this box. No Sega logo on this. At all. How bizarre. However, the spelling mistakes are indeed still there. 17 playables characters. 12 unique stages. Are there any more? Uh, no, no more. No more spelling mistakes. Just the S's that shouldn't be there. But I do like that. I actually forgot this had a reversible cover. I like that more than that one. I'm going to switch that over when I finish that video. Right then, the art book. Look at this. Isn't this a beauty? Mm. Has it got art in it? It does indeed. It is so small. <laughs> Axel! Yay! Um... Mr. Y and Ms. Y and gold. Gold! Always be... Anyway, we won't keep singing that. We might get content struck. Um, so, yes. So, it's, that is... That, I would not say, qualifies as an art book. Maybe art manual. Instruction manual sized. I mean, it's, it's cool they've put it in there. I was kind of hoping it'd be bigger. Um, the key ring is rubber. This is not a toy. Um, yeah. I don't know why the why it's got white bits on. The backing of the the backing of the the key ring is black, so they probably could have been black. That just looks really weird. Come on, back in the case with you. Right, there's just one more thing to look at in here. Then can you see it? It looks like a soundtrack. Now you're watching this on the Radio Sega YouTube channel, which means that you're probably aware of RadioSega.net. We play music. Oh, hang on. Oh. I thought this was just going to be a sampler. Look, it's got a space for two. I think this could be the whole soundtrack. 
That's going to make me wonder why I've just bought it on vinyl. Um, yeah, so if you go to RadioSega.net and you can register for an account and request all your favourites, including every track that's on this bad boy. Now then, what have we got? Ooh, 35 songs. Music composed and designed by Olivier de Rivier. I have no idea if you pronounce that if correctly. If I'm wrong, I'm sure you'll tell me in the credits and I will never read them because when do I ever go on YouTube? Mm, not all of this is uh, Olivier de Rivier, though. Some of them are actually Yuzo Kashiro. Like this one, the main theme of Streets of Rage 4. And this one, and this one. And yeah, I actually wasn't expecting this to be the full soundtrack. <laughs> it is the full soundtrack, including... The spelling mistake that Yuzo Kashiro did for Mrs. Y, implying that Mr. and Ms. Y are married. Um, yeah, what's the artwork on the CDs like? Oh, look, it's our best friend Floyd. No one likes Floyd. And Adam. Hmm. You'd think they'd probably use Axel and Blaze there, seeing as they're the only characters that have been in all three of them, but never mind. Um, who has produced this? Mastered by Sean Hatfield. Hmm. And 2020 Amio Productions. Uh, productions. Productions? What is a production? Um, and that's it. There's nothing else in that box. Apart from some uh, some foam. If you like foam, there's plenty of foam in this for you. Uh, so yeah, there we go. That's the Streets of Rage 4 um, Signature Edition produced by Merge. I don't actually know if you can still get it anymore. Um, I didn't research that before starting this video because that would imply too much effort on my part. And if you guys know me through my many, many years of hosting on Saturday Night Sega, you'll know that planning does not come naturally to me. But I like that. That's a that's a lovely little thing. Um, I'll probably do more of these when other Sega stuffs turn up. Maybe when the Streets of Rage 4 vinyl turns up. Um, and if nothing else, I'm sure between myself and Green Viper, we will be producing a slew of footage um, on the Astro City Mini Cab and the Game Gear Micro. Because, again... Our wallets don't seem to like money, so we uh, we buy stuff from Japan and be like, Oh, look at this, it's so pretty. Although, if I do the Game Gear Micro video, I am probably going to need someone else to record it for me, because I will need two hands, because otherwise we are not going to be able to play the thing. Um, so yes, no, very, very, very nice this. As I say, in closing, uh, this was worth £50. Pounds. I believe that's what I spent on it. 50 quid. I think you got good money for that. Um, the, the game itself would probably normally retail for about 30. And all right, the it says art booklet and key ring. Well, the key ring I'm probably not going to use, if, I, or if I'm honest. Um, the art book kind of qualifies more as a leaflet um, than it does a booklet. You know, I mean, there's, there's plenty of room in this box. You could have put an art book in there. You could have just, just, you know, used a little bit less foam, sunk the soundtrack down a little bit. Because, I mean, look at the... The, the thickness of the foam. Oh, I can't get the foam out. It's really thick foam in there. You could have easily sunk that down and put an actual book in there rather than that. So that's disappointing. Um, the game itself is brilliant, as anyone who's played Streets of Rage 4 will attest. So I'm really looking forward to being able to play that in bed. Uh, I've been playing it on Xbox One since it came out. Um, and yeah, I needed a physical version. So I thought, right, buy one that I can take with me on the go. The bandana is pretty cool. Not entirely sure where... I'd uh, wear I'd wear it if I'm honest I don't think I'd ever wear it out although I suppose if you did want to wear it out you just turn it round so you can't see the Streets of Rage 4 logo and then it just becomes a generic blue bandana art card's pretty cool that little art card's cool and the coin is nice and hefty and really nice I like the coin a lot so yeah there you go Streets of Rage 4 signature edition unboxing produced by me Gavi and um, if you're watching this as soon as it's been uploaded, I'm doing Radio Sega Summer Soundtrack uh, 2020 on Saturday Night Sega this evening, 10, 10 p.m. UK time. Um, you can uh, you can tune in and watch uh, and listen to your leisure. Or if you're watching this after um, the day it's been uploaded, it'll be on Spotify, as with all of our podcasts. So you can listen to them then at your heart's content over and over and over and over again. Thanks for watching. Um, should we do what all content streamers do? Let's do that. If you like what we hear, then press the like and subscribe button and the bell for all of the notifications when all of our videos that we always post ever go live. Cheers.